Well, good morning. Supposed to have a windy day today. Uh, so we're gonna do an output check for for the old I-1500 by Istabreeze. So let me go reset the meter here. And uh, just wanted to show you, it just started spinning. It's like 8.30 in the morning. <clears throat> and we're gonna need it today because there's no sun really. So I reset it last night, but I'm gonna reset it right now. Sorry. Shaking like a leaf here, man. Too much coffee. <laughs> so we set it to zero. Like I said, it's 8.30 in the morning. And we're gonna, I'll just check back. This is gonna be a real quick video. Um, I'll check back at the end of the day here. All right, see you in a bit. Getting some fairly decent output. The winds haven't really picked up completely yet. Sorry I'm shaking, guys. I drank four cups of coffee this morning. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's doing fairly well, man. I'm thinking later on when the winds pick up, we're really going to start seeing some power. So, just wanted to give you a quick update here and show you kind of what it's up to. Pumping out some juice. All right, guys, we'll be back. I'm going to put it on a stand next time so it's not shaking like crazy. Well, I tried to clean the screen, and uh, I'm not sure it got behind there somehow. And I only put it on a rag. So, I don't know. This meter might not even work by the end of this test. I didn't think a little bit of glass cleaner would do that. But it creeped right behind there. But there's some pretty good output. Yeah, it's pretty much been doing this for the last hour. So it's working fairly well, man. So unless I see some crazy output, I'm not going to do any more of these video updates. I'll just see you at the end here, guys. I appreciate you watching and uh, checking out the wind turbine. See you in a bit. Of course, it was just pumping out over a thousand watts and grab the camera, but not fast enough, you know. But, anywho, yeah, everyone complains winds up and down. Well, so is solar, man. When the sun's shining, obviously you're making good power, but when the clouds come, boom, she drops down. So, to me, having the wind as a backup <clears throat> is an excellent choice if you have the wind, you know. If you don't live in a windy area or have any type of <clears throat> sustained winds any time of the year, then I guess wind isn't for you, but I love it, man. So, but all right, just a quick update there. I tried to catch it, but of course I missed it. So I'll try again. See ya. Yeah, I guess I take the time right now to point out this is running to a full bridge rectifier. It doesn't have a booster or anything to help it produce. This is raw power coming from the turbine itself and charging my 48 volt battery bank. Um, you can see the voltage is at 54. So in order for this to even start creating power, the voltage out there on the turbine has to be over 54 volts. So now a lot of turbines claim they have, you know, 6,000 or 2,000 watts power output, but I bought them. <laughs> I can tell you they don't. This is the first turbine I've ever bought that I've seen it hit <clears throat> rated power and beyond. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to capture it today because the winds aren't that crazy. They're like 20 mile an hour and it's not even steady. It's kind of gusting up to 20. Um, I don't have any way to prove that to you, but I mean, anybody who's had a turbine, I'm sure you've been disappointed by them before, but Istabreeze is not 
going to be a disappointment. I, I couldn't be happier. And uh, I actually reached out to him with a, you know, how I felt about it, a good review. And then they reached out to me. <clears throat> and so I've got something coming in the mail that I hope to get installed within the next couple weeks here. So when I get that, I'll share that with you and we'll see what that one can do. I'm not going to tell you the exact model, but it's another turbine. So, I mean, if that wasn't obvious already. <laughs> But anyways, all right, guys, I was just trying to capture, you know, rated power here, but of course I missed it again. It, it got close a few times, but it needs a gust to probably around 25 to 30 mile an hour to hit rated wattage. So again, if you're not in a windy area, you really, I wouldn't even bother with a wind turbine. So, but it's totally up to you. They are cool to just watch them go, even if, you know, they're not making a whole lot of power. I just think they're neat, so. All right, guys. We'll check back with you here when we try and catch something better. Ooh, getting close. Wind picked up out there a little bit. Comes and goes. I guess I'll try again later. Well, it might be picking up right now. Sounds like it. Of course, I want it to hit 1500 watts or better than that. It's just not cooperating. It's come close, 12 something. But. All right, well, I guess we'll try again. But there's what we've made for the day. 814 watt hours so almost a kilowatt i mean it's all extra if you think about it if i didn't have it up there i wouldn't even be getting that power in here so i'll take it I thought we were going to get it that time. <laughs> Come on, baby, get up there.
All right, well, here we are, 8.30 at night. Wind's completely done now, not blowing at all. But we made 1.3 kilowatts, a little over, you know. Not too bad for power I would have never had without the wind turbine, so. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.